Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Batman Arkham Asylum 100% uh, hard mode this time. And I did actually go back and I did look at my uh, first episode of my previous playthrough of this game, which was my first let's play of it. And I actually put it on normal mode, so that's not what we're doing here. I, I was wondering that, like I think like the last episode or something like that, I was wondering if I did uh, normal mode or if I did hard mode or not. I couldn't, you know, tell. And so, I went back and checked to make sure I did, and, well, I did. I think, uh, it might have been either Origins or City, that's what I was saying. It might have been either one of those, where I actually did hard mode, and then I switched back to easy mode. I'm guessing it's probably Arkham City, but then again, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just... That could have been a different game. I know it wasn't God of War. I think God of War I did with... I think I did on Spartan mode only. I don't remember ever going back on that game. But God of War is pretty easy. Like, once you play it enough and you figure out all the exploits and stuff, it, it becomes to the point where that game could just be beaten by me in, oh, roughly a few days if I actually spend enough time trying to play it in that amount of time. God Mode can take quite a bit of time to beat. Uh, I actually plan on doing um, God Mode, though. I actually would like to do... I like to start doing Hard Mode for games. And since um this is the first of that long list of games of, you know, hard and challenging games and stuff like that I want to do. This is going to be... It's definitely going to be awesome. I don't know where I'm getting at with it. I'm just saying that this is going to be the first of it, and I hope that it will not be the last. How about that? I'll say that too. Um, it shouldn't be the last one. This one should not be the last of the, all the hard, hard mode walkthroughs I'm starting to plan on doing now because, you know, I, I'm willing to give my full throttle experience, you know, to enjoy these things the way that I enjoy them. See, when I play a video game, what makes games so much fun for me to do is when they're difficult. I like playing difficult games because it gives me that sense of, like, challenge and that, it's like a challenge reward system, you know, where, like, I gain a sense of challenge from trying to do it, and then I actually, when I win, I feel really really rewarded. Now, when it comes to hard games, what I'm talking about is I'm, I'm not talking about like how Batman has, you know, harder challenges or whatever, or bull crap like that, you know, or some things are harder, but other things are not. I don't like that idea. I like these hard mode stuff where it's like you beat the game once and you can go back and you can play it again that way. I cannot seem for the life of me to line this up very well. Come on, okay. Like, that was one thing that bo bothered me about Arkham, uh, Arkham City, though, was how the challenges were just too elongated and very annoying to do, you know, they didn't really, to me, they didn't really fill that void of, of hardship, I guess you could say. Okay, this is not lining very well, I don't know why. I, Batman, cut it out, seriously, dude. I'm actually trying to look to see if I'm proportioning it correctly, that should be fine, okay. Uh, the Zaz thing is in there, by the way. We don't have the cryptographic sequencer to deal with it right now, so, yeah. But, one thing, like, with Bioshock, uh, the original Bioshock, and especially Infinite. God, Infinite, 1999 mode is actually kind of difficult. Until you get a certain, like, gear. I think it's for, like, one of your hats or whatever you get. You can wear, and it gives you the ability, like, every time you, um... You eat something, like, you get health back. You get, like, a temporary amount of invincibility. Which is pretty nice to have, you know, with that boss fight that happens later on in the game that I have trouble with all the time. The graveyard boss fight, for anybody who wants to know exactly or specifically knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't want to spoil that game already, but, you know, oh well. I'm willing to do that game sometime. Just not right now, because I haven't done Bioshock 1 yet. I will be trying to do Bioshock 1 this year because I have not actually finished my playthrough of it this year. Mainly because I just wanted to, you know, finish it up via Let's Play wise. I kind of want to make this the year where I actually do a Let's Play of it. That infamous. I want to do all my favorite games this year. I really want to work on all of the games I really like, even if I have to play them again. Or just my favorite franchises. I don't want to deal with any of them Rage Quit games again. Like, Jack 2 is awesome. I love Jack 2. It's just there's a moment in Jack 2 that got me really pissed off and then the first time I recorded something it messed up and that video was I don't what I don't remember what episode it was but I had to put in like extra music commentary for it 
for the sound and like I didn't want to do that for the videos. I didn't want to go find these cutscenes because I didn't know which cutscenes they wore. For that video, I actually found the cutscene I needed, but for the video I just recently did, I said, no, I'm done. This is really pissing me off. I can't deal with this crap. It is my fault what happened, yeah, but it it's really annoying when it happens more than once in a Let's Play. Like, usually when a Let's Play screws up more than once for the same thing, I tend to just say, you know what, let's just not do this anymore. And yeah, sometimes it's kind of a little bit, uh, unrelative to anything really, like that was. Like, that really wasn't any reason to quit it, but to me it was just kind of an excuse to get out of the trouble I was already in. You know, I guess, but... I, I didn't want to quit it, like, I had really good, you know, hindsight for it. I was really hoping... hindsight. I had really good vision for it, I, you know, I was being passionate about it. I wanted to, to do it and show you guys why I like Jack 2 so much, but then it turns out that Jack 2 does not like me very much. And if you think Jack 2 is pretty hard, Jack 3 can get a little bit more ridiculous in terms of difficult stuff, so. Like I said, I do like hard games. I don't like doing them on, like, first time Let's Play stuff, you know? I don't really like doing that. If I want to play a game that's hard, I want to play it to where I know what I've done, and I want to play it on hard mode. But, I don't know, okay, I'm just going to admit right now, Jack 2 is hard, okay? And that's no reason to quit it, I know, but... It's it's over now. I'm gonna redo it uh, sometime in the future. It might be a few less ways from now. I want to wait until like the perfect moment to do it again. And I also like to do uh, Uncharted 2 sometime in the near future as well. I don't want to deal with these guys. See, what's gonna make this let's play a little bit more faster for me to do is I don't have to deal with all these little tiny cutscene. I guess you could say cutscene deals that go on in the game. I don't want to mess with all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get a auto proximity detonation. This upgrade, I believe, if anybody walks nearby it, they'll ex the explosive gel will just explode on them, uh, temporary temporarily knocking them out. So, we're gonna deal with that crap, which is nice. I mean, it is. Let's see, where do I need to go? Where do they want me to go? Do they still want me to follow the trail? Because I don't. Oh, here's the yeah. We already followed the trail there. We can't even get in there. So what? What's the point? I don't know. But anything, I I picked Batman first because I knew I could do Batman. I, I knew I could do Batman. Oh, that's right. We're gonna go up here. I knew I could do Batman well. Like you know, I played this game multiple times. I enjoyed this game very much, and I I figured the first time I played the game, I wasn't giving enough credit. That was like right after I think I beat the game too. Like, that was like after my first time beating the game, I think I played it, I'm like, okay, time to let's play it. So I did, and therefore I already had, you know, knowledge of what I was supposed to do, but I also happened to kind of, I guess, not know everything, too. I don't know. I don't know if I did a 100% thing my first time, which I probably more likely did, because this game's pretty relatively easy to 100%. Just come to think of it, I think I did, but then again, I don't know. I don't... See, I, I'm not thinking cl clearly here. I don't remember exactly if I did certain things or not. One thing I do like is Arkham City does kind of keep to the fact of being a Batman game. You know, it kind of gets... It, it keeps in mind that, you know, Arkham Asylum exists. Unlike Bioshock Infinite, where, like, they just completely ignored Bioshock 2. And, you know, in, in general. I don't know about the DLC. I haven't gotten the DLC yet. I don't plan on doing the DLC. Because I feel like the original Bioshocks were Rapture Belongs. And I know that's just me being a selfish prick and can't accept the fact that, you know, a game has a reference to the older games or whatever, you know, or anything like that, but it's true. I don't really, just, I, God damn it. <laughs> Bioshock's too much of a good game for me to just see go into another game or whatever, you know, or just see, like, even if it's just a split cam if it's a split cameo, I'm fine with that. Like, if they'd mention, like, oh, yeah, this happened here, so, yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know about this, you know. But if it's something like a full, thrown-out re reimagining of the original game, that just, that kind of got me a little bit irritated there. But that's just for Bioshock. Like, if they did, like, Spyro or Crash or something, I probably wouldn't give a crap, but if it's for a game that I really favor the most out of, then it becomes kind of hard for me to want to, you know, do that or deal with that kind of stuff. 
I might get it. People might, people, you know, probably say like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's alright. But Tenenbaum looks really, really weird. Uh, just, she does not look right, you know. In that game, or in Bioshock Infinite style, she does not look very well done. She looks a lot different. Like, I liked her design in 2, though. She looked really pretty in 2. Just saying. Uh, yeah, she looked really good in 2. Like, in the first one, she wasn't really that good. She looked weird, you know? Anyway, but I mean, like, in 2, she looked like a normal person for once, and I was kind of glad about that. I think 2, if I was correct, I think it took place either before or was it after. I don't remember. I haven't played Bioshock 2 in, like, God knows how long. And I need to get back into playing that game. That game's pretty damn fun. I like Bioshock 2 a little bit. Not enough to say it's my favorite of the Bioshocks. Hell no. Why do I keep talking about Bioshock? That's like the one game I always talk about all the damn time. Now, I know there were people before me who played the game. Okay, I know people played the game in like... 2007 when it freaking came out on PC. Way before I did. But I just want to say that I have my footing. You know, I've earned my respect in the Bioshock community, at least. No, I have not done a Let's Play of it yet, but I would like to. And then after I do a Let's Play of it, I'm planning on doing a Survivor... Uh, no Vita Chamber run, because that's always fun to do, too. Um, you get a trophy for doing that as well. And I always found it kind of fun to do, just even without getting the trophy. I just usually just do Survivor anyway, because it's easy. I mean, if you have Vita Chambers on, hell yeah, the game's easy as hell. But, I mean, if you take them off, then, you know, it, then it becomes a challenge. And that's something I really like doing, too. Another thing, um, I... I don't know what happened. I guess I'm going to say this now. I doubt he watches my videos at all, but you never know. If, I just want to mention him. I, I think I've, I've said a few things to him on Twitter, and he responded a few times. He's he's normal like any other YouTuber out there. Like, I am. Uh, I watch this guy named Dick Benedict, and, you know, it's funny. is He talks about people he watches, and so here I am talking about him, talking about people he watches and stuff like that. And I find it kind of interesting, but uh, I like watching him. He's one of my favorite guys to watch. Mainly because he does games on hard mode a lot. Uh, he does, you know, walkthrough guides. Whether or not they're on hard mode or not is up to him. But I really like watching his videos and seeing him talk about, you know, not really exploits, but ways to just play the game better, I guess you could say. Like, ways to get past certain points of games and stuff like that that are ridiculously hard. And... He does quit a lot of his Let's Plays, but he still deserves respect. You know, I understand where he comes from. You know, I understand why he would quit, you know. And, but, I mean, he does, he never, like, actually just moves. He never just quits his... In, oh, crap, I keep forgetting. He never just quits his channel completely and moves on to another channel and does the same bullshit there, you know. He just does what he does on his own channel. And if, like, he doesn't like that certain game or whatever the point is, he'll quit that game and go on to something else, which is something I usually tend to do. But, uh, where do we need to go? Yeah, we need to go... Well, okay, let's go to the other side of the door, then. Yeah, let's go to the other door real quick and stay away from there. You know, I always feel like doing... I always felt like doing, uh... Not doing, but, um... Dressing up like Batman for whatever dumbass reason and just... Walking around town one day and just pretend like I'm Batman, just run around and mess with people. Like, if I had friends or whatever that would do it with me, I'd just, like, go beat them up a little bit, you know, or pretend like I'm beating them over. Something like that, just for just for a day's worth of entertainment, you know, and that's something I need more of. It's just, I need more entertainment in my life, it seems like, because I'm usually compelled to just doing video games and stuff, and although video games are awesome, and they're a great way to, you know, to kind of... I keep using the same damn word. I keep saying in my mind, like, exploit, exploit. Um, to, to kind of accentuate... I, I don't know what I'm trying to get. I don't know any words. <laughs> trying to get out what you think, you know, in your mind. I, I think I just skipped that, too. I didn't mean to. My bad. Oh, well. Again, this is not a let's play. This is a walkthrough, so... Whether or not I show something off is relatively unimportant or not. That was that really wasn't really much of a cutscene. I mean, yeah, it was a cutscene, but it wasn't really like you know, full throttle on technically a cutscene. If I wanted to, I'd probably just skip all the cutscenes anyway. But I kind of like watching them just every once in a while. I kind of like leaving them in there just for folks who are, 
you know, kind of, I guess, new to the game or something, and they just want to see everything. But that guy is just really going to be pointless anyway, so. I feel like he's just a carry-on NPC, so what's the point of dealing with him? You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? But then again, like, that really was unacted. I didn't realize it was technically considered a cutscene. You know, I felt like it was going to be one of them talk-to kinds of people, but I guess not. Okay, one thing about the cape, though. You can't stun, but it takes him down at least a hit or so. So don't forget, like, if you're actually in a combo and you do, like, one hit, it's going to knock somebody out. You, know, you can't follow up with an attack like that. After a cape. You can't follow up with a cape attack, yeah, but... What I'm saying is be very careful when you use it and you're trying to, you know, knock them guys down. I think we have a few more guys to deal with, though. I think there's a few more that come out. Don't or maybe not. Yourself, I'm just softening you up. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, here's the part where he starts talking. I just want to skip on that part. Okay. Dr. Chin. Speaking of Dr. Chin, I think I've heard that name before somewhere. Something Chin. Chin Lin. I, I don't remember. There was something I was watching where you had to locate somebody or something. and This is not it. Alright. Getting the hell out of here now. Found Hush. <laughs> yeah. He finally showed up in a Batman game. No, I'm kidding. Uh... Anyway, I think he actually shows up in Arkham City as... I think he takes your face. Well, he, if you guys remember, there's like an identity crisis mission or something like that in Arkham City where... I think it was Hush. That was... He took people's faces off and made his own face to look like Bruce Wayne. And whether or not he's going to be an Arkham Knight, I hope. Please be an Arkham Knight. But, uh... Whether or not he's going to be an Arkham Knight, I do not know that. But I'm surely as hell hoping he would be. As kind of his side... Even if it's just a side quest. You know, that's what I liked about Z Victor Zaz was he was just not really a part of anything at all. Because he's really annoying. The whole side quest was a pain in the ass. Oh, it was. But... He still was just mainly just a side quest. And that's something I kind of enjoyed a lot of. Just having him be away from me long enough. I don't like Victor's ass that much. In this game, he's fine. Because in this game, he actually poses a threat. You know, whereas in Arkham City, I can take my damn time all day long and just not worry about him. Like, the phone will ring, and no one will be there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and the walls will ooze green slime. Oh, wait, they always do that. But what was that third thing? Alright, um, this little room here, we need to throw down here. No matter what you do, you can't really... Get that thing out of slow motion. It's gonna go in slow motion no matter what you want, want to do. So, uh, the teeth—they're always gonna be around where the boxes are. So if you see those, then yeah, use those to your advantage. I don't know, advantage to see them. What's funny is I just threw that guy in a pit of. Oh well, Batman said that he's gonna help him now. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, like, I just threw that guy, literally just threw that guy into a pit of toxin. A room filled with toxins. And I'm thinking, like, here, like, oh, Batman probably doesn't give a shit. You know, it's Batman. Who cares, right? No, they'll, they'll, they'll probably make you do it anyway. I can't find the... The last one should be, like, over here somewhere, I thought. There it is, see? Alright, there, we're all done. And now, right in... Oh, never mind, I guess we got to talk. This is a non-cutscene part right here, but it's just going to show up anyway. It's going to show them up barging out of the door. Good thing for me, I think we can actually unlock this door real quick. Alright, here's Aaron Cash's thing. He lost his hand, so keep that in mind. Alright. I actually don't remember how he lost his hand. I kind of tend to forget things. Here's Firefly. He doesn't actually show up until freaking Batman Arkham Origins when WB had to put him in the damn game. Yeah, liter literally. WB had to put him in the game. I really like these uh, these comic book attributes going on here. Not attributes. Did I just really just say attributes when I looked at it? Well, I guess that's probably what it is, but um, I really like these uh, comic book style deals for like the pictures of like the people you look at kind of have this comic book look to them. You know, that cartoonist look going on there. Well, I feel weird all of a sudden. 
there is still medical Not like I'm lightheaded or anything. I just feel really heavy. I don't know why. Well, I'm a fat ass. No, okay, I'm not like fat, but you know, I feel like it. Every time I eat something, I feel like I'm fat as shit. It's weird how my body works. All right, so into the next room we go. Should be all right here. Go down here. One thing I noticed is people really like to watch hard mode and stuff anyway, which I'm I'm kind of glad because I think that hard mode is definitely something that needs to be put in games a lot more often than it you know it, it has been. Whether or not people are watching my videos is a whole different you know concept on its own. But I do know that people like watching hard difficulty guides and stuff like that. You know, watching people play on hard mode usually is kind of entertaining for some people. And it gives them that sense of like, man, this guy's pretty good at this game, you know, or whatever it would be. Usually before I do a hard mode game I'm, or do a game on hard, I'm, I, I mentioned this before, but I'm probably just going to do like a let's play of it first and then I'll go through it. Because like, I gotta see whether or not I actually can do the game or not. You know, but then again, like some games like DMC, I can just skip all the cutscenes and you know, play the game on Dante Must Die or something. For you guys. But if I play on Dante Must Die, I, I'd kinda like to do a let's play of it first to show you guys that have gotten these upgrades previously. You know, that, that's kinda how the game works. You gotta have previous upgrades and yeah you have to play the game first get all those upgrades and stuff or you don't have to buy any upgrades at all really you probably could just go through the whole game not upgrade once and therefore upgrade when you get to Dante Must Die mode which will be kind of a good idea but then you have to just struggle through you know Son of Sparta and stuff like that without any upgrades as well just to get down to the point of doing you know, whatever's next. Alright, special combo takedown. This is something we definitely need. This is the circle and triangle takedown. This is definitely one that's going to be very, very useful to us. Much better than just throwing the guys around like that. Alright. Regular trophy found. Now, I will mention this real quick. I do not care much for doing um, sessions because usually when I do sessions with on Spadalvel, they usually end up messing up anyway, so I don't feel like there's any point in doing this as a session. Oh yeah, these cocksuckers. These guys are easy to take down. Don't really worry about them. I mean, during the challenges, yeah, they're going to get kind of difficult to take out, but... because they'll, they'll make it a little bit more difficult to get all the points and stuff. But I don't like doing this in live sessions because... The video would, like, mess up one point and then just... The whole damn thing would be messed up, you know? And that, that's something I do not like. I do not like that at all. So, like, 25 to 30 minute videos is perfectly fine with me. Okay, so that was another cutscene I just skipped. Of course. <laughs> well, I, I can't tell what's going to be a cutscene and what's not going to be a cutscene. No, no, fuck it. I'm just going to watch the cutscenes that are important to me. But that. Like, Batman walks in. It, it's like an end game cutscene. That's what it is. Oh. Okay, you have to literally jump off. Land right on top of this dumbass and then knock him out that way. My bad if I keep skipping cutscenes that you guys actually give a crap about. Like I said before, who cares? I mean, uh, this guy we can knock out with a battering. And then that will probably send that guy waiting to come get us. I know he's waiting. There he is. Just gonna knock him out. Yeah, he will avoid uh, your incoming fire when they see you. Or actually, the start. Yeah, when they see you, they'll avoid your batarangs. That's the first time we actually died. Wow. That's the first death of the game. I'm not going to keep a death counter, though. There's really no point. But I will keep in the moments when I do die for you you guys to, you know, to see that I am on hard mode and that I am taking quite a bit of critical damage. Here, we can watch it again. Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes. See, is this really even necessarily a cutscene? Because I'm talking through it. No, okay, this is... Oh, let's make an exception here. The, the cutscenes that are like the ones where... Um, the graphics completely change. 
you know, entirely. Like, the visual stance changes. Not the actual in-game cutscenes all count, I guess. So that last one with Dr. Chin and all them really wasn't really much of a point, because I don't really feel like it's much of a cutscene, exactly. Oh, there's our, uh, our unusual perspective thing. Let's take out this guy real quick. I'll end it off soon, folks. It's just trying to, you know, trying to worry about these guys. Uh, this guy is going to come up the stairs. He's not really big. He's not going to really be, be a big problem. I can just literally, literally just stand here for a little bit and wipe him out that way. See, he's he's nothing. Okay, so I took out all the guys, and now we're going to head up the elevator. Or down it, whatever it is that we're going to be doing. I think it's only two teeth in this room. We got the perspective, the riddle. I uh, got a few riddles, actually. We got a few trophies in here. I think we got the interview tape and everything. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time when we play some more Batman Arkham Asylum. I keep wanting to say Origins. I'm still stuck on the fact that I'm playing Origins. Uh, I'm not playing it now. I'm just saying I'm still stuck on the fact that I've been there, done that. Wow, look. I like how the Batman just stay on the ground. That is very... Very interesting detail. Speaking of details, while I was playing Bioshock Infinite the other day, I looked at uh, some cockroaches on the ground. Oh, one of them flew away. And I saw that... So you're not really supposed to look at them, you know, but they uh, they kept popping in and popping out. And it was really funny. I'm like, oh yeah, Bioshock's still doing its usual stuff. So, as always, take care, everybody.